Hello guys, uh, today uh, we are going to see about binding in Angular. So, what is binding actually? So, binding is nothing but a communication between component and view. So, if you see this uh, uh, Angular diagram, you will understand that how uh, <coughs> it is uh, as I mentioned it is a communication between this component and template so whenever uh, something changes in the component we have to inform the template or the view okay maybe the component has uh, many uh, elements like title or whatsoever so whenever this anything changes in the component we have to intimate the template that is the view okay and uh, when uh, anything when a user presses on anything on the view it has to be intimated to the component maybe uh, if the user presses a button it has to be told to the component to do the specific action for that maybe call a event listener button press means if the user presses a submit button means it has to do the necessary logic for submit so that has to be intimated to the component so this is in a broader sense what is property and even binding so so this is our topic today so binding is just a communication between the component and view so uh, with uh, binding we have two types that is property binding and even binding that is uh, when uh, if when you want to intimate the view about the change in component that is component binding and when we want to intimate the component about some uh, event happened in the view we go for even binding so these two bindings are both uh, single way binding okay one way binding both these are one way binding okay When uh, both together, we call it as two-way binding. Both together, we call it as two-way binding. Okay. So, okay. I, I hope uh, you understand. So, as we show, saw in the diagram, try to understand that property binding is a one way binding from component to view. Component, whenever something changes, it will be intimated to the view. And uh, even binding, it is the other way. From the view, when the user presses on anything, when any happen, event happens on the view, it will be intimated to the component. So, one way. So, both together we call it as two way binding. So, let us see about property binding. What is property binding? So, property binding, um, we saw what is property binding. So, to achieve property binding, we can use interpolation or uh, uh, like this or like this. Okay. So, interpolation is simply to display a information in the view display mostly it is used for displaying the component property okay anyway that also will get converted to a property binding by angular so let us see an example now so maybe so uh, this is in my simple application okay so i have a component i have a component this is a root component and uh, this is my HTML attach the view for that component. Okay. So we will see example for uh, interpolation. Okay. So um, if you see here, so as I mentioned, this is my component and this is my view part view part okay in the component i have something called title equal to my app so let me insert the interpolation html 
so in the view part now i am adding interpolation i want to in the view i want to see the title which is available in the component so i have added now let me see in the browser how it is so you are able to see right so uh, interpolation in the sense it is used for mostly for displaying purpose okay and uh, it uh, even in interpolation you can add uh, expressions as well so how it works is it uh, it evaluates the expression and converts into a string okay even here you can add uh, some expression 1 plus 1 okay you can see the value there so it will mention it as 2 so it can be also be used for evaluating expressions and you can also call fun functions which is available in the component from this from the component from inside the interpolation okay so um, there is uh, one other way to bind the values in the component that is uh, using square brackets but there is one more difference so as i said inter in case of interpolation it uh, evaluates the expression and converts into a string okay if you want to bind any non string value okay you maybe i consider i have a button okay i will add a button okay input type button and i want to disable it based on the value in the component okay maybe i will add interpolation now is disabled okay will also add a value maybe submit in this case value equal to submit will add uh, this value in my component Maybe you will have it as true disable it. So it is disabled. So in the in this case, this uh, uh, the button what I put in my view is getting disabled based on a value in the component so in this case it will always be true this is since this is a <coughs> non uh, string data that is this is a boolean so if you use interpolation for a boolean it will be anyway converted to a string so if you use it like this even if in the component if the disabled value changes as false later it will uh, be uh, a string value that false will be converted to a string value so you will not get what is expected this will always be true so in this case you should not avoid uh, you should avoid using interpolation so the other way of doing the this is called as property binding okay we saw interpolation and other way is using square brackets in case of square brackets you can uh, bind a component value to any of the property in the dom element maybe for uh, input uh, you have value mm, name so to any of the properties you can bind the component value Maybe we will see an example. Maybe we will go to the 
from Visual Studio and in this case we'll just uh, comment this and also comment it on the component so here I will add a so in case of property binding you can bind the component value to n um, um, all the properties of the DOM element. So let me add a input of type text. Okay. And I want to bind now the value of the input element to the component value. We'll say it as maybe input value or something. Okay. And I will show it now. So right here I am trying to bind the input value which is available in the component to this input DON element. So we have to add this to the component as well. We'll try to add it so here we have sample something i'll add it something called sample in the component so let us see the value in the so you are able to see right so right now we have binded the sample the input value which has sample value to the input element binded that the input element value present in input element okay so the next will be uh, the even binding so even binding as we said earlier we are binding uh, the event which is happening to the view to the component so it is like adding a event listener so i am saying that whenever uh, any event any event happens on my input element any dom element you call this method in the component it is something like that so we can bind it mind on most of the common elements in the dom like focus blur submit scroll cut click so most of the dom elements you can create this even binding so it is created by adding like this okay we have to add like this on our event which we are interested to bind it to the component okay so let us do it for the simple click let us see example now 